Pizza. This simple doughy and saucy delight has brought endless and magnificently greasy joy for centuries. Today, May 5th, 2011, five pizzerias will compete in a battle of New Haven Abits versus New York style pizza pies. Based on your vote, the victor will be crowned champion of the pizza wars. Now that's a slice. <laughs> Abate's Pizza and Restaurant has become a mainstay of North Brantford. The Abate family roots begin as early as 1956, the year Prisco Abate's father opened his first pizzeria on Whaley Avenue in New Haven. We started in Worcester Street about 19 years ago. Our North Brantford location has been in business seven years now. My family, I have a big family myself, we have five children. One of them is in the business with me, my youngest one, Rocco. He makes, they say, the best pizza in the place. Undefeated, Abate's intends to keep their winning streak going for a third year in a row. With a New Haven-style pizza crust, they're more than confident about. Our pizza crust is your traditional Navali Don. When you throw out that many pizzas, you put so much work into it, you know, you want to win. Got low ceilings, so you can only go so high. Pizza War newcomers, and technically the new game in town, Anthony John's Pizzeria touts an authentic New York style pizza straight out of Brooklyn. I started uh, making pizzas in Brooklyn, New York when I was 13 years old and uh, I've been doing it ever since. Opening its doors last May, Frank Morale and his son Anthony run the business inside and out. He makes the pizzas, I cook, everything's fresh, everything we make fresh. you got to be a professional weight trainer before you start doing this. Because we know our stuff is good and the people know our stuff is good and we want to give them a good pizza and show them what a good pizza is. And not for nothing, Frank's made every single pie that's left the joint and he's not afraid to talk about it. Every single pizza in Anthony John's Pizza Ring. I'm not comfortable letting anyone else do it. Jeff O'Connor and Frank Bevilacqua are approaching 20 years of service at Giovanni's Pizzeria and Ristorante. Natives of Northford, Jeff delivered pizzas for Giovanni's during high school while the Bevilacqua family ran the restaurant. When the family wanted out, Jeff took off from college and teamed up with Frank to run the business as it is today. Adamantly touting New York style, these two don't mess around when they say... Yeah, it's a thin crust pizza. Some people do them thick, some people do them doughy. You know, ours is just a, we're more of a thin, sort of crispy crust pizza. La Monaco's Pizza and Pasta was the second pizzeria to open in Northford, opening doors just about 23 years ago. The D'Angelo brothers firmly admit that they didn't start as pizza makers, but thank a deep-rooted Italian culture for everything they know. My brother was 30-something, but because we are Italians, food in general is part of our culture. We are showing the best pizza in Italy. We both were born in Sicily, even though now we are both American citizens, so we are completely you know, Americanized, but not too much. We want to do it because uh, uh, we want to be part of the, the fabric of the community. Because we are very, very, very comfortable with the pizza that we make. Sefa Sekban has operated Oregano's Pizza and More for the past five years. Growing weary of making breakfast, Sefa made the move to pizza making 10 years ago. And here's why. I was doing breakfast about 15 years ago. And I was kind of getting tired of it. <laughs> and I love, of course, eating pizza. <laughs> Bought my own place and started making pizza. To tell you the truth, I want to be in the restaurant business. I better love it. Otherwise, you won't come out right. So there you have it, folks. A little slice of what to expect. Find yourself today at North Brantford High School from 6 to 8 p.m. and place your vote for which pizzeria you think should be the next champion of The Pizza Wars.